Hello friends, this video is the continuation of the previous lecture which I have given about the synchronous reset. So today, in this video, we are going to talk about the asynchronous reset. So asynchronous reset, as I have already explained in the previous video, asynchronous reset doesn't depend upon the clock. Okay, whenever the reset has been asserted, at that moment, the D out, okay, data out will get the values whatever in data has been generated so in this case simply we're going to change a logic here in the sensitivity list we will use or negage okay negage negage of reset so the condition out here is that at the positive edge of the clock or at the negage of the reset we have to execute these two statement okay this one and then this so here when the reset is high then this zero will be assigned to the D out else D in should assign to the out data okay so here input data will be assigned to the output data and here in this uh, test bench everything is almost same there is no change for the asynchronous except out here we have added in the sensitivity list now let's run and see the waveforms. So in this waveform, we can see one difference between the asynchronous and synchronous. As we said, synchronous reset, they will depend upon the positive edge of the signal. These are the positive edge of the signal, okay, clock. Now if you see here, reset has been asserted for 10 nanoseconds and then for 10 nanoseconds reset is high and then after 10 nanoseconds the reset has been released so it is active flow so the moment the reset has been released instead of waiting for the next positive edge of the cycle by out data it immediately take effect okay the out data immediately gets the value whatever the uh, the in data has been generated this 4193 these are the values which was generated okay randomly randomized by randomizing them we have generated the data so this in data will be assigned to the out data right after the reset has been released here i'm going to show you the waveform analysis for the previous lecture that is synchronous reset let me get that image so here so in the previous lecture we have discussed that for the in data that will be assigned to the out data after reset has been released in the next clock cycle okay so this is the case for the synchronized reset if you see this uh, analysis and then with the asynchronous analysis you can see the difference here the in data has been assigned to the out data right after the reset has been released see here okay and then whereas for the synchronized reset the reset has been released but the data in data was not assigned to out data it was assigned only at the next positive edge of the cycle as you can see here so this is the difference between the asynchronous and then synchronized reset i believe you have understood the explanation if you have any queries please do comment below in the comment section thanks for watching